The first time that I ever played, say through a PA system, was at the old El Rancho Hotel in West Sacramento. And that's where Dad kind of finished off his career. So he would play in the lounge um, four nights a week, three nights a week, and then on the weekend, his band would go into the grand ballroom, and that sat like 2,000 people. And the stars would come through, the larger stars would come through, Tammy Wynette, I'd said, you know, Buck and Jerry Lewis and these guys, and so he would be the opening act for them. Well, one day we asked him, my sister and I started a little band, there was three of us. My roommate, Ted, his dad, stepdad actually owned the El Rancho, and my sister, and we asked if during the daytime they would rehearse if we could get up there and turn the PA on with nobody in that area of the day, in that time of the day, and play. And uh, he said, sure, so we turned the system on and then closed those, you know, the old big heavy red drapes, curtains. And we played, uh, my first song through a PA system ever was Conway Twitty's Make Believe. And I was on drums and Dana was on bass and Ted was on guitar. We got done with the song and we heard this little smattering of applause. And like, I'm on the drums, I go, damn, open the curtain. And she pulls the curtain aside like this and there sat the club owner, my dad, and the act in the ballroom that weekend. It was 10 million up. And basically, well, the hook went in and... live at the Hard Rock Cafe in Nashville, Tennessee. We're doing a show for A-Star Productions. Welcome. Come on in. Lonesome hearts and lonely minds What's the best to the kind Be a card to live your life Lonesome hearts Jimmy is right now putting the finishing touches on two albums. One of these albums is dedicated to his father, who's a member of the Western Swing Hall of Fame. Jimmy, you did something like 
200 shows last year, right? Yeah, we've been doing 200 <laughs> shows for the last six or seven years. I got a chance to travel to Europe, played some shows in Paris and England, and uh, it was interesting flying over there. I was opening and I was going as a solo act, and it was kind of right after my first CD. And I went over there, and I literally was kind of like, what the hell am I doing? And I'll tell you what, on the way back, after performing over there, for people in different lands, didn't know me, didn't know of my music, I was flying back and I realized there's probably a billion places to play in the world. And I think I could probably play about 75%. Of them. Stogie in my pocket, suitcase in my hand, nothing but the highway on my mind. I'm very excited that Western Swing is kind of back on the rise in a sense and that this isn't just going to die off. I just a few low talking rainbow walking in love. Let the rain fall from the sky so blue river. Just that green walking down the street. Beach of love to ever want to meet an ember. Feel the talking rainbow walking in love. We've been flying under the umbrella of Americana as far as um, a genre of music and there's still a lot of people that don't understand what Americana is and it's really this umbrella of so many different types of genres of music and so what it allows you is to not pigeonhole you in a certain type of music and gives you the ability to expand potentially as a writer in performing those songs and then uh, some of the covers that we may play.
Makes me wanna holler, baby, makes me wanna shout 